Do you want better biceps? Do you want a better peak? Let's talk about how to do it right. All right, what's the secret to having better biceps and better bicep peaks? That's a really good question because a lot of it is due to genetics. And I think a lot of problems with people not having very big biceps is because they overtrain them. It is a small muscle and it only needs to be trained so much. If your biceps are small and you're overtraining them, you're not doing yourself any favors. When it comes to bicep curls, does it really make a difference about your hand position? So does it matter if your palm is straight up or if it's a slight angle or if it's in this direction or down with your palm down? Yes, it does. And it depends upon what muscle you want to really focus on. The biceps brachii that we all know and love, it's riding from here over the top and attaches down here. The inside is the short head, the outside is the long head. Underneath is the brachy, brachialis. It rides, it attaches to the bone right there and comes in right here. And then finally there's the biceps brachy that attaches up here and connects all the way down to your thumb. So when you do a hammer curl, you've really engaged the brachy radialis. Anytime you just come up or at an angle, you're still gonna hit the, bi uh, the biceps brachy and the brachialis. Now, the only time you're really gonna get a lot of almost a lot more brachy radialis is if we turn our hand over and come up this way. And we'll do an example of that too. So for our bicep workout, we're gonna focus on three hand positions and one bonus position. So don't forget to stick around for that. So the first one is an open palm, pronated palm, and we're just gonna come straight up. The third hand position is like this, like an easy curl bar. So we're gonna use an easy curl bar in this position. And the final position that we're gonna do is in a hammer position or a hammer curl. This is gonna work all three aspects of the bicep brachy, the bicep brachialis, and the brachy radialis. At the end, we're gonna do a bonus one, so stick around. One of the best dumbbell bicep exercises is concentration curls. Put your elbow right there on your leg. Keep perfectly flat, don't let it rotate up. Just keep it flat. One, control it. Two, squeeze at the very top. Control it on the way up and on the way down. And try not to let it rotate over to this side. This is a great alternative to a dumbbell concentration curl. This is a machine put out by Panetta. And what it does, it's gonna keep my palms up and I'm gonna make sure that I press myself back against the seat so I don't have any shoulder motion pulling this up. So I'm gonna do this with a three second descent. So I come up, one, two, three, up, two, two, three, three, two, Three, four, two, three. The second exercise we're gonna do is an easy curl, bicep curl. So you wanna hold it here. So you see now we have this hand position in this way. So we, we never wanna use swing or momentum with this. So we're gonna do this with a tempoed pace. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a two seconds up and a three seconds down and it looks something like this. So make sure you have a good, nice stance. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One more. One, two, one, two, three. Now when you do this exercise, you will still wanna use the same hypertrophy range, like three sets, eight to 12. So just make sure that on your heaviest set, you know, you're not doing this, you want the arm all the way down, all the way up. It's not this. All the way down, all the way up. This is called a spider curl. 
And if you're bored of just doing plain old easy bar bicep curls, this is a really fun one to do. You're gonna have to drop the weight. But really squeeze it at the top and control it on the way down. And that's a lot of fun. Hey, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, please. That really helps the algorithm and helps my channel grow. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Masters Muscle. All right, the final exercise that we're going to do is going to concentrate more on the brachyradialis. And so we're going to do a hammer curl. And so we want to pull it up this way. In this first set, I'm going to sit straight back in the seat. I want to stay very upright and I'm going to keep my elbows pinned to my side. So let's do a set. Let's stay very upright. On my second set, I'm going to lean just a little bit more, keep my elbows straight down and go here. And on my last set, I'm going to let it hang down. And each time I move a little bit more forward and I force that shoulder down, it's making it a little bit more difficult for me. So I'll do an example of all three positions. First position. Second position. And finally, third position. And my arms really hang down. All right, if you're looking for an alternative to dumbbell hammer curls using a crossover machine and the, uh, a cable hammer curl is a great alternative. And I'm gonna show you another way to do it that'll help you also get a little bit more of that brachialis right here. So what we're gonna do is first we come up straight, then we come up and out. I'm gonna do it from this direction so you can see that I'm keeping my elbows right by my side. And for some reason, anatomically, I'm not sure why this really hits the brachialis uh, yeah, the brachialis a little bit more, but it really does. So do this in the same type of hypertrophy range that you would do with a dumbbell curl. So just make sure that you keep those elbows by your side and up. Make sure that you squeeze at the top. Squeeze. 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 Now, here's a little tip. If you're a little shorter, and you're hitting the bottom, put a couple plates right underneath your feet so that you're gonna get enough extension. Have a good time with it. So one of the real keys to getting good biceps is being in control and feeling that squeeze the entire time. You never just wanna to toss the weight around. Too much momentum isn't making the muscle really work. Put your ego at the door, drop the weight and control it. All right, this is our bonus move. This is primarily gonna work your brachyradialis. So keep your elbows pinned to your side and come up and down. And one thing, I don't know if you can see it, but I have my thumb over the top. This makes it even harder and I like to bend my wrist down and man alive, does that burn that brachyradialis. If you look at Phil Heath, Johnny Jackson, the priest, man alive, do they have some great forearms? And part of that is that brachyradialis. So don't forget to train this on a day you're working biceps.